hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you another demo of a spring boot application spring boot web application so uh, uh, before uh, running the application let's uh, discuss about the technical details that we are using this application so this is a laptop shop uh, e-commerce application where uh, like customer can visit and buy the laptops at the same time admin can log in and add the product details like laptops and uh, according to the categories so uh, technically for the manage to the manage the back end it's using spring boot to manage the front end it's using jsp html and css things and these are the fragments so this is your front end part and this is your back end part so it's using embassy architecture and following the package architecture also so it's here is your controller classes DAO, DTOs, exception, form and utilities so let's run the application first uh, in order to run the application we have to view the e-commerce application or java file also uh, for the backend to manage the backend it's using the mysql database so we are operating the mysql uh, database under this mysql workbench here is your tables, card, categories, orders, product, and users. Okay. Also, uh, if you buy this project from the code one and you take the remote support, this remote team will set up everything at your machine. Uh, and now you need to follow this demo. Uh, how can you operate the application? So, in order to run the application, this is your runner file under the Spring Boot. So, just right click on it, go to run as, run it as a Java application okay and wait until the server port is started so now once uh, the server is start on a specific port like you can see this most message tomcat is started on a port number 8080 after that go to the resources open the application or property file and this is the url that we have added open any browser or will recommend the chrome browser so open the chrome browser and enter the url and you will see the application will run like this okay uh, also now uh, there is a slider so some dummy images are there so on the home page we have some functions like uh, some email links uh, home products and about us and contact us so under the product even without login customer can view the products according to the categories so these are the categories over there about us page is there contact us is there and we have a sign up option and sign in option so two types of users into the application currently there are two types of user one is admin is going to uh, log in and add the product and after that the customer will log in view those two product and buy the product so first i'm going to enter the username and password for the admin and log in and let's check what admin can do after that will log in as a customer and see what a customer can perform over there so this is the username password for the admin so after admin login admin can add a new category let's suppose i am going to add a new category uh, for the laptop so category i just enter some description here upload a dummy image click on save and i can check the category list the new record will be displayed here as a new category another option under the category section we have we can search a category by name okay so i can search this category by its name also if i want to delete any record let's suppose i want to delete this record so i can just check this check this box and click on the delete button the record is deleted successfully now uh, another option for that this is the main module category uh, so admin can log in into the portal and add a new category and delete those categories after that we have a uh, add product so product will come under the category so when admin click on the add category this form will be open and these categories are coming from the database so recently in the category list we have three categories only so these three categories are displaying here so custom uh, we need to add a product under these categories only so i select this newly added category i select new laptop so I'm just giving a dummy name. You can give a name as per your requirement. I enter the price for this laptop. I choose an image. So I just upload this image. Click on save. The product image is success successfully. 
now this product will be display here now in both category we have one project one uh, laptop so uh, uh, another option we have to search by name here as a, I can search any product by its name and uh, same the delete option is there after that we have a product list and order list so currently no one is ordered so it's not displaying here we'll do some order from the user side then we'll check uh, the data will be display here so some common option my profile change password and logout now I am going to sign up as a new user and let's see what new user can log in here and after login what user can how user can buy the product so I just go there and gmail.com okay I need to enter the login ID so I just enter some dummy data here and let's suppose I am giving the one to three like this and this is need to enter some valid 10 digit phone number so while you entering the data make sure you are entering like a proper data because it's using validation to the backend so you will not allow to uh, insert an invalid data so I just have this email ID and the password user registration is successfully it means if I go to my database and check my user table the new entry is there with new registered user so this is the username and this is the password for this user so I'm going to log in with this user now and going to buy some product. So I just enter username, password, sign in. And after that, I can check the product section. So under the product section, I will find some product according to the categories. So currently we have three categories into the database, AVC laptop. So under the AVC laptop, we have this laptop. Under the XYZ laptop, we don't have any laptop. Under the new category, we just added this laptop now if i want i can add many product and will display here as an admin i uh, will add in some time and uh, let's suppose i want to as a customer i have logged in and i want to buy this product so i just need to click add to car add card here as i click on add card and you can see the the product is added into the card and the quantity is by default quantity is one so let's suppose i added the quantity as a two and update my card and the price is multiplied and here we have a checkout option so now you can see the item detail here and we need uh, we have some common detail which is already fetched by for this user and we need to add some extra information like uh, address and um, address after that it will move to the payment so there is a two option for the payment by check or by card so let's suppose i select my card so i just need to enter the card number and some details about the card and place order so this is using the dummy payment option so it's not a real-time payment gateway and after that it generated invoice and if the like uh, this it's, it's done and if i go to the order list now i can check the order list available here now even if i log in from the admin that's ordered record will be display over there as well also we have an option to search by id order id so i can search it and some common option my profile change password and logout let's log in my admin again and add some more product so currently we have a two product so i'm going to add some product in this category as well and the price is a 50,000. I add an image, click on save. The new product is available over there. So, if I go there, I'm going to add another, another laptop for this category. So, let's suppose I added a price, add this image this time, click on save. List. Okay, so these are the listed product now and just verify the order list that, that you can see under the order list the newly uh, ordered laptop is displaying here that we have recently buy from that user now if i logged out if i view the product by default all the products will display here all the laptops will display here when user want to search in them by category it will filter out the data like this so it's all about uh, <coughs> like a uh, laptop shop uh, in a spring boot and uh, 
I just want to remind you it's using Spring Boot, Hibernate with JSP, HTML, CSS. Okay, to manage to, 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 to manage the backend transactions, it's using Hibernate. And uh, to manage the backend, it's using controllers. So if uh, you want to check the controllers thing here, you can check the controllers. So it's using controller and uh, the API like mappings is a get mapping, post mapping, and update and other kind of other kind of requests. So if you need the source code, you can connect over the WhatsApp over the mail and don't worry about the configuration and the setup at your machine. We have a remote uh, remote team. They are the guys are going to help you to run the application at your machine. So just contact and take the service detail. Thank you.